Hey guys, welcome to another video. In front of me is the legendary 2022 Hyundai Tucson which is recently launched in India. The variant I am reviewing today is the top spec signature diesel with 4 wheel drive which is mated to an 8 speed automatic gearbox. Tucson is one of the best looking SUVs in the market right now with its futuristic and sophisticated design language. It has got sharp body lines, muscular stance and looks very imposing. One of the unique features about Tucson is that this car is equipped with Label 2 ADAS with long list of driving assistance features and safety functions. It is available in 5 color options and 2 dual tone finishes. The price starts at 27.70 lakh for the petrol base variant and goes all the way up to 34.54 lakhs X showroom for this particular car with dual tone color. So yeah, the price is bit premium but this is the most premium car in the Hyundai lineup. So let's find out what this car has to offer but before that make sure you are subscribed to this channel for more amazing reviews. The front face here looks very aggressive with this massive grille that has dark chrome finish and parametric pattern. The DRLs also get the chrome treatment that makes them neatly merge with the grille. The bumper gets a silver skid plate with a radar placement which helps the ADAS functionality. There is this front parking camera under this bold Hyundai logo. The headlights are placed on the bumper, gets dual barrel LED setup for both high beam and low beam and they are quite powerful. And with this low placement of the headlights, the Tucson doesn't get any fog lamps. There are 4 parking sensors on the front bumper. The character lines on the bonnet neatly merge with the Hyundai logo on the grille. As we move on to the side profile, you can notice the sharp body lines on this car looks very unique and edgy. The cladding has been provided around the car with some extra cladding on the door panels. It gets squared off wheel arches and 18 inch diamond cut alloy wheels with tire size 235-60R18. All the 4 wheels on the Tucson gets disc brakes. Body colored OVM along with turn indicator gets silver accent and a camera for blind spot monitoring. It gets auto fold and retract function. Now this car is not a dual tone color but the roof is finished in black because of this massive panoramic sunroof which I'll show you in a bit. The roof rails are also finished in piano black to complement the overall looks. The silver lining on the OVMs continues all the way to the C pillar. It gets matte chrome finish to it. The C and B pillars are blacked out which helps the floating roof design. Both the driver and co-driver gets keyless entry button and the door handles are body colored. The suspension on the front is Macpherson strut with coil spring suspension and the rear wheel gets multi-link with coil spring suspension setup. The rear overhang is my most favorite part of the car as the sloping roof line with this sharp cuts and creases looks very sporty and the squared out wheel arches complement the design very well. Now coming to the rear profile, the Tucson gets a connected LED tail light which highlights the width of the car. The tail light has a T-shaped design and if you pay attention, there are tiny winglets on it and the overall design at the rear looks very striking. The rear bumper gets a skid plate with diffuser and 3D diamond like pattern on it. The turn indicator and reverse light are still halogen. There is this reflector and 4 parking sensors on the bumper. Hedge track badge on the tailgate which means this car has a 4 wheel drive. This is the reverse parking camera. The Hyundai logo is integrated into the rear windshield but has a 3D form. The rear spoiler gets a high mounted LED stop light and the shark fin antenna gets piano black treatment. The wiper is neatly hidden inside the spoiler and the windshield gets defogger and washer. Press this button to open the tailgate. The Tucson gets hands-free power tailgate which lets you open and close the boot electrically. The boot carrying capacity is a massive 540 liters which can be further increased by folding the rear seats. Boot light placement and this is the 12 volt charging socket. Lever to fold the rear seats. This car gets a Bose sound system and this is the subwoofer placement. 
The boat is pretty wide and big and it is easily accessible with decent amount of loading height. You also get a rare parcel curtain for the boot. The spare wheel gets a space saver tire with steel rim but in Petrol Tucson you get a full size spare wheel with diamond cut alloy wheels. Press this button to close the boot. This is the fuel lid. It says diesel and an inlet for the AdBlue. The tank carrying capacity is 54 liters. The Tucson measures 4.63 meters in length with 2755 mm of wheelbase and 192 mm of ground clearance. So that's pretty much about the exterior. Now let's find out what's inside the Tucson. Opening the rear door, you can notice this dual tone treatment with this piano black and chrome lining over here. There are soft touch materials everywhere except on the door pocket. Gets piano black treatment at the power window switch and the door opener gets brushed aluminium finish. This is the bottle holder with speaker placement. Rear scuff plate with Tucson branding. The cabin feels very roomy with ample amount of space. This is the maximum legroom and that is the minimum legroom available at the back. These seats get leather upholstery with three adjustable headrest and a center armrest with twin cup holders. The seats get 60-40 split configuration with recline adjustment and isofix child seat mounts. With lot of glass area and beach interiors, the cabin feels very airy and spacious. The Tucson is a proper SUV, so the legroom and headroom is never an issue. And the under thigh support in this car seems to be very good. I am 6 foot tall and look at the amount of legroom available on offer. The rear seats get elastic storage, AC vents get silver accent and there are two USB charging outlets. Retractable grab handle gets a hook and a light. Same on the other side. Both the front seats gets adjustable seat belts. So that's pretty much at the rear. Now let's jump into that driver's seat and check out the front row. The front door also gets dual tone color treatment with lot of soft touch materials and piano black accent here. Buttons for power window, lock unlock and OAVM feels very premium. The door opener gets brushed aluminum finish. Door pockets are decently sized and speaker placement with Bose branding. This area gets fabric treatment, chrome and piano black accent, gets two memory seat controls and Twitter placement. Both the front seats get power adjustment with lumbar support for the driver seat. Gets brushed metal accent here, adjustable headrest and you can also control the co-driver seat using these switches. The seats also get 3 step ventilation and heating function. Getting inside the cabin, you can feel the level of quality inside. The dashboard looks absolutely stunning and look at the attention to detail. The line over here, it neatly merges into the dashboard, the air vents and it ends on the other side which looks very clean. With lot of chrome accents, the dashboard layout feels very futuristic. Buttons for traction control, boot open and headlight adjustment. You get push button start stop switch on the left side. One of the unique features of the Tucson is the diffuser mode where the air comes from here due to tiny vents throughout the dashboard which is a nice touch. Hazard light switch. The entire center console gets piano black treatment. 
The steering wheel gets leather wrapping with piano black and silver accents. These are the buttons for MID and cruise control. And this is for audio and phone calls. This is the 10.25 inch fully digital instrument cluster which we have already seen in Alcazar. It shows bunch of information like fuel economy, range, driving info, tire pressure, gear level indicator etc. The RPM meter and speedometer gets analog dials and it also gets left and right blind spot monitoring. And these graphics change according to the drive modes. There is a speaker placement on the dashboard. The dashboard also gets soft touch surface. Stock to control the headlight gets a 3D design on it. And this is for wiper control. These are the keys of the Tucson. Gets lock, unlock, boot open and engine start stop switch. AC vents with chrome accents. And this is the 10.25 inch infotainment screen. It gets Hyundai Blue Link connected car tech with OTA updates. Hyundai claims that there are 60 plus Blue Link connected car features in this car. It also gets Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and voice recognition feature. The infotainment system is mated to a 8 speaker premium Bose sound system with subwoofer and amplifier. The sound system is just brilliant in this car. You also get some touch controls here for the infotainment. It gets dual zone fully automatic climate control and it is entirely touch operated. Gets a small LED display in the middle to show the climate related information. Some AC and defogger related controls were provided here. There are two regular USB outlets with 12 volt charging socket. And this is the wireless charging pad to charge your phone wirelessly. Twin cup holders for the front. This is the automatic gear selector. Gets silver accent and leather wrapping on it. Electronic parking brake switch get auto hold function. Switch for 360 degree view, downhill assist and dry mode selector were provided. The quality of camera is really good and you also get dynamic guidelines. This is the dry mode and terrain mode selector. It gets 4 dry modes. Let me show you real quick. Eco, Normal, Sport and Smart. The graphics also change accordingly. And there are 3 terrain modes on offer. Snow, Mud and Sand. This is the button to activate downhill assistance. And here are the switches for ventilated and heated seats. Both the front seats get 3 step ventilation and heating function. This is to open the center armrest. It gets decent amount of storage space. And to my surprise, there is no air purifier integrated here like the Creta or other Hyundai cars. The driver side sun visor gets vanity mirror and a light. And the co-driver side sun visor also get a vanity mirror and a light. Retractable grab handle. These are the buttons for RSA and SOS. Front cabin gets LED lights. Frameless design for automatic day and night IRVM. And this is the massive panoramic sunroof. Let's quickly open it. There goes the glass panel. The sunroof open up pretty wide and big. The glove box is illuminated and gets decent amount of storage space. 
ORVM gets blind spot warning light. So that's pretty much inside the Hyundai Tucson. Now let's quickly open the bonnet and talk about the engine and transmission options. The instrument cluster shows bonnet open warning. This is the 2 liter diesel engine that produces 186 brake horsepower and 416 newton meters of torque. And there is a 2 liter petrol engine on offer that produces 156 brake horsepower and 192 newton meters of torque. The petrol engine gets 6 speed automatic transmission and the diesel engine gets 8 speed automatic transmission. And there is no manual transmission in the Hyundai Tucson lineup. Talking about safety, the Tucson is loaded with long list of safety features, in fact 60 plus safety features which includes 6 airbags, ABS with EBD, electronic stability control, vehicle stability management, hill assistance and downhill assistance. Big thanks to Lakshmi Hyundai Vishakapatnam for giving me this car to review. So that's pretty much about the all new Hyundai Tucson. Let me know your thoughts as well in the comment section below. If you like this car or the video, do hit the like button to let me know. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.